Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Chris Hall 2915 here. So, we're going to be shooting this Taurus G3 9x19. Uh, stay tuned after the shooting. I'm doing an unboxing on this. So, I've got a target set up here at the range at five yards. And we're going to see how this thing does. Maybe it does good. Maybe it don't do good. Personally, I think this is an inexpensive solution for home defense it's chambered in nine millimeter so hopefully it shoots fine like i said we're going to be firing at five yards let's see what happens First round, I blame that on me. Just wasn't used to that trigger pull. The other five rounds, at five yards, I wouldn't want to be in the sights. So, I think it done pretty good. Like I said, stay tuned. I've got some unboxing. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to the shop, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is time for another unboxing video. I know it's been a few weeks since I've had had a chance to do one and just been real busy doing the car stuff and, and gun stuff too. But uh, just been super busy doing doing a lot of stuff. So we're gonna try to get back to the doing these unboxing videos. So we've got something, uh, we got a new one. So let's get this unwrapped and show you guys what we have here. So here we go, let's get this started. This was delivered a couple nights ago from the from the gun ferry. Dropped it off. Box says Taurus. So we have some goodies. Let me put my glasses on, see what we have. You got a coupon? Save 10 bucks on, uh, looks like some holsters. Oh, double-sided. So it looks like we could save 30 bucks on a uh, laser sight. Don't know anything about that brand. Don't know if it's any good. Don't know nothing about it. We have a Taurus, a limited lifetime warranty. Got the book. This one is, it's got glossy pages. It's got colored pictures. So that tells me they spent some money on this book. Why? Why spend money, lots of money on these manuals? Cause this stuff, you know, like I always say, I tell it in all my videos. If you're getting a very nice manual like this, I mean, it is kind of nice. Most people, you should read this because you can actually, you know, find out a lot of details on your firearm. All the information is in here. Safety features, all that stuff. But uh, the more money they spend on these uh, nice owner's manuals, the more money you spend on your gun. That's how that works. We've got the... Uh, We've got the gun lock. Just rack it back, slide that down through there and lock it. That way nobody could, little fingers could be playing with it and stuff like that, you know. I encourage everybody to, you know, use these. And I've said it several times in my past videos, I'm gonna show, no, I'm going to do it eventually. I wanna spend, a, you know, a few hours one day and I'm gonna show, like I said, these locks, even if you guys, Instead of getting these and just trashing them, there's lots and lots of uses for these. These are actually pretty cool. I've actually started collecting them. I need several of them. 
uh, for what I've got planned. So I've got a I've got a bunch of them now, but I'm gonna need some more. So I'll probably end up having to buy a few of these. We have two magazines, and let's get to the uh, meat and potatoes of what just came in. Got the box. course we have the box comes in a pretty nice torse plastic garbage bag little I mean it don't zip but it's got torse on it you know like I said the more details they put into the shipping package you know what drives the price of this junk up and I use the word junk lightly I'm a mechanic I call everything junk even if it's brand damn new to me if it's not junk now, it's going to be in a year or two, but I digress. I could go on for days. So we have two magazines. We have a safety lock. And what we have is we've got the Taurus. This is the G3 9mm, 9x19. got a good feel the texturing on this grip it's got texturing see the little texture texturing pads right in here they're real aggressive you know I kind of like that so let's rack it got our flag release it Hmm. I like the way that feels. That feels nice. I can't find any complaints right now about how it feels. Feels good. Magazine locked up pretty good. Those of you don't know, if you've not checked on these guns, or cheaper dirt. Hell, they about to give a damn things to you. I mean, these are these are a fairly inexpensive gun for for what they are. They're a good gun. Uh, I've never seen any complaints. I mean, firsthand experience, I should say. I've never heard of you know my customers coming in talking about them. You know, I've never really heard of anybody that's bought one and it says, you know, it's just a flat out piece of trash. And like I said, it is it is what it is. It's it's an inexpensive nine millimeter, cheaper than your Glocks, cheaper than, you know, your Springfields. It is what it is. But, well, it's got the, it's got the safety paddle in the trigger. That the, you have to squeeze that as you're squeezing the trigger. Some people don't like that. I don't mind it. I mean, I don't mind it at all. I'm not in love with it, but at the same time, I don't mind it. These are these are striker fire pistols, pistolas. Brand new. Uh, let's see, let me get my finger in there without chopping anything off. Yeah, she's a little dirty. And you want that on a brand new gun. That means at least it was test fired. These magazines have the yellow followers. Magazines are made in Italy by Mech-Gar, M-E-C-G-A-R. That's what the magazine's made from. I guess they're using a Second party source. Make a magazine. Taurus, of course, comes out of Brazil. So why are they getting magazines from Italy? Is Italy now cheap labor? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't I don't know. Have no earthly idea. Like I said this actually you know, it feels fine in the hand. 
don't really have any complaints. you see both sides of it. I mean, it feels fine. It feels better than some other cheap pistols I've had in my hand. Feels a little bit, feels worse than some other cheap pistols. It's probably a good middle road gun. Like I said, you could be, if you're a person that wake up one morning or things in your damn neighborhood's getting bad and you want to buy me, you know, I'm not a I'm not an avid shooter, don't know much about handguns. I just want a handgun to make me feel safe, to make me feel like I can protect my domicile. You could be into one of these for a little bit of money. And even though this is you know, a fairly cheap pistol, I wouldn't want to be shot with it. You know, even the cheapest guns out there, they're gonna make someone want to take a nap, especially chambered in the the nine mil. It's good. It's a good home defense gun. Good personal defense gun. You know, this is a good person protection device. You know, you can protect your home, do whatever, and uh, the nine mil, it'll work. No problems with nine mil. There's other cartridges I like better. Three feet seven magnum, ten mil, but. If you're not going to do any bear hunting with your home defense gun, 10 mil may be a little, you know, overdoing it for that. So you've got 40 cal, and I actually, my personal experience, I like nine millimeter better for certain things than what I do 40, which don't get me wrong, I like 40 caliber. Really like 45 auto, but everybody doesn't need a 45 auto just right here even with this loaded this wouldn't be very very heavy to carry i mean this this would actually it's fairly light i'll tell you how much it weighs but what i'm saying is this would be a good solid carry piece and it's not it's not gonna you know break the bank so that's what we have today and like always thanks for watching